gradation air, otherwise known as projection. The Brincham Magecraft that embodies the actualization of the imagination into reality. Gradation air gets its name for the after effects of using it. The materialized object will fade away like an illusion and be rejected from the earth. Canons in itself is very simple. One makes a mental image of an object and then utilizes magical energy as a focal point. The energy is then laced into components which make up the item and acts as a temporary anchor. And when this process is completed, the item is recognized as a phantasm. Something that should not exist but given special permission by the world. Many believe for this to be an incomplete magecraft, considering the amount of energy required for it. However, that is where we get to the updated version to counteract this argument. Projection Trace On Version This form of projection is pretty much the perfected version of the latter. It's the unique version that Shiro and Fate Stay Night's Archer are capable of using. Trace version is leagues ahead of the original Gradation Air, as it is able to reproduce the entire history of the former. The shape, substance, size, and overall features, as well as the myths, legends, and any information known of it can be copied with Trace. However, there is a flaw from this version that Archer did faintly hit at. Projection is usually inferior to the original, unless the user is highly attuned with said item. An example is when Shira was able to trace Avalon, the scabbard of Arturia. Since he had it within his body for at least 10 plus years, Another disadvantage is that the user needs to have at least a baseline understanding to replicate. This is why things like Gilgamesh's Aya at the end of Fate Unlimited Blade Works was impossible to comprehend, as it is a weapon that cannot be comprehended by mere mortals of the common era. A fun fact about projection is that the user doesn't technically need to physically see the item. One can replicate an item through shared memories or dreams that relate to it. There are about seven steps of the activation. Number one, judging the concept of creation. Or basically, is this a weapon that can be understood by man? Two, a hypothesis of the basic structure or attempting to understand the components in the original state. Number three, duplicating the composition material, or in other words, replicating the items or substances needed during the creation of the original. Number four, imitating the skill of its making, or replicating the processes that were used to create it during the original's production. Number five, sympathizing with the experience of its growth, or basically replicating the years of cumulative attachment to it. Number six, reproducing the accumulated years into the original timeline. And number seven, excelling at every known manufacturing process, or basically using all known means in modern magecraft to produce the final product. Gradation air as a whole is a glass can type of magical art. It forces the user to learn the basics, such as reinforcement and strengthening magecrafts. And then one needs extra means to have the created objects last almost indefinitely like aluminum blade works. It's still overall a very useful art 
and only a select few are capable of overclocking it to the full potential. But that's pretty much it, and that's all you really need to know about Projection Magecraft. I do hope you all enjoyed this little explanation, and if you enjoyed the content thus far, why not leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I currently post two videos a week, and I am very responsive to any comments. Follow me on the Xbox and Amino, and if you like, join my Discord server. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.